Okay, so something showed up in the mail yesterday, and we're going to tear into it and go ahead and get this thing uh, installed. Upside down box, but is the Moride steps to replace our old steps. Our old steps, actually we're having to hold it up with these blocks because there's a rivet that popped and they're not very stable. So we will get right into the install right after this. So I'm going to get right to the point. If you do nothing else when watching this video, stay with me for the next 60 seconds. Uh, you would not believe how important it is to take the right measurements in measuring the door. Now I'm going to take you to the More Ride website here in a second, but what they're actually measuring is not necessarily the opening. Let's take a look. Now, if I measure the inside opening of the door, I'm at 29 and a half inches. If I measure the inside flange of the door, it comes out at 28 inches. But what they're actually measuring, they're actually measuring the door itself. So way over here, you go to that edge, to this edge is 30, between 30, 31 inches. That's what Moride is talking about. So uh, we're gonna go ahead now and jump on into the rest of the video, but you need to know this is the most important part in measuring for what you need. So anyways, we're gonna go to the Moride website here. We're at moride.com. If I go under RV products, and then I'm going to go to RV aftermarket catalog, and then I'm gonna go down to page seven. So if you actually look here, page one, four to 13 is the step above products line. So we're gonna drop down to page seven. There's the steps. There's the step above fit chart. When you look at this, you have the part number, you have the step height. The step height is actually fine, that's no big deal. Step rise, and then the door width. Now notice there are two door widths. When you look up the part, it doesn't tell you the other door width. It only shows you on the actual part description, the actual door width. So they're talking about when the door's pulled out, how wide is it with no door in there? That's basically beyond the frame that you're looking at. So when I measured and saw that my measurement was 29 inches, it's like, well, wait a minute, you got a 30 to 32 or a 26 to 28. And I had someone at Camping World I don't mean to diss Camping World because they actually saved me in the long run, but somebody at Camping World said you got to measure the inside flange, which our inside flange is 28 inches. So that made perfect sense that we would want the STP-207 because we had a 36 inch step height and we had 28 inch flange width. Little did I know what we really wanted was the STP-209, which was the 36 inch height and the 30 to 32 inch, but in actuality, 27.75 to 30.25 on the door width. All right, so it seems pretty simple. It just came with uh, two sheets of paper. One is more products from Moride. Um, yeah, they have a storage box, which we wanted to get, but I need to do some more research because I'm not sure if that storage box is gonna fit where, all, where our old stairs are now. Um, it seems like this box is a little bit wider than the space we've got so i'll have to check that out later but there's really four steps on the front five steps on the back looks pretty simple pretty straightforward we're going to go ahead and jump on into that first thing we need to do is we're going to take out the existing threshold All right, so I'm trying to get the steps to be perfectly in the middle of the doorway. Too far to one side, it may not open correctly. So this side, I'm going to have to shorten and bring that uh, slider uh, hook in. 
So this is where it gets a little crazy. They want exactly 15 sixteenths of an inch from the threshold to where this metal plate is attached. All right, so it also says don't um, drill it all the way through. Just kind of get it down. Don't cinch it up just yet. You want to test to make sure everything's going to close and work right. So um, I just put the outermost screws in to start with. And we're going to see if we can get this thing to open up and, and the door close. So let's see what happens. In fact, to test it, let's first see if this door, see if the door will close. All right, door closes. We're good on this end. Okay, so far so good. Let's finish this up. Just so you can see what I'm seeing, we need to make sure that we clear this hinge. So I'm gonna have to adjust that. That's what I've been messing around with here. We need to kind of get that slip out just a little bit more, right about there. And I should be able to tighten it back up. Yep. So that clears. Let's go and tighten it. All right. So these are the steps. We do have a little extra feet, so I, sh I should bring that those feet up by just about another notch. I'll show you how those are adjusted, but it looks like everything is working right here. Um, let's try closing this one more time. Everything is set. And we're all ready to go. Let me go ahead and just uh, extend those legs. The way the legs, ex legs extend, we get these little pins. Pull the pin out. We can slide it out. Uh, let's see what happens when we go to. Yeah, I think that's going to be it. So two. Oh my goodness. So much nicer. We'll close there. All right, so that's basically it. Make sure you do the proper measurement from the very beginning. It's going to save you a lot of headache down the road. Um, screwing it now. It did not come with the hardware. I am going to go out. Uh, I have spots for about four more screws from what I had on the threshold, so I'm going to go ahead and get some more hardware so I can basically uh, finish that off right, so there's no chance of that thing slipping or coming out. Uh, but other than that, pretty simple install, it's just the measuring that's tricky. So uh, once you get that done and make sure that everything fits and is adjusted and 5 sixteenths of an inch, uh, you're good. So um, that's it. So we're going to end it here. Make sure that you hit that subscription button, uh, give us a thumbs up, and for good measure, hit that notification bell, uh, let you know every time we post every Sunday at 2 o'clock. Follow us on Facebook now as well, Our Road to Camelot on Facebook, and that will do it. So, safe travels. We'll see you on the road.